So you know, here we have the sharp and sheer, uh, the one that had uh, a number of dings down in the pivot area, down in this area, and uh, sharpened both blades uh, due to the catching. As you can see, it moves. It moves nicely. One thing to note though, is look how much my fingers, my thumb and my index finger can move through this shear to cut versus one with inserts, both on the uh, tooth blade and on the, the thumb blade. My finger doesn't go in near as, as much here, especially the thumb blade, because when you're trying to cut hair and it's not working quite right, the tendency is to try harder and what happens is you're pushing your thumb, causing the blades to cross. And if you have teeth like that, that you can see, and you're trying to cut and force it, you're gonna um, have one go over the top of the other and you're not gonna be able to close them. So if we have some fresh, clean hair and You're cutting cuts fine. This is with mine. These are the ones I sharpened. No insert, um, but knowing what to do. You can see that it cuts fine. So hopefully this resolved the problem and uh, technique or practice technique will come into play and there'll be success all around.